Hi, welcome to the Cop Kitchen. I'm Dave Sheppy. Today's video is going to be a very quick video. So quick, I'm not even going to put my apron on. I'm going to show you how to boil eggs in a pressure cooker. My chief's girlfriend has a pressure cooker, but is scared to use it. She boils her eggs at night to have them ready for the morning. So I'm going to show her, Sue, how you can quickly boil eggs in a pressure cooker. You're not really not boiling them, they're pressure cooking. So let's get started. What you're going to need? Eggs and one cup of water. I'm going to be doing four eggs, but the beauty of cooking in the pressure cooker is you can do one egg, four eggs, six eggs, a dozen eggs, and the time is going to be the same. I have a Ninja foodie, but the Instant Pot is basically the same as far as the time is concerned. Um, this Ninja foodie was given to me a couple years ago for a Christmas present. Thanks, Pat. And I love it, and I use it a lot. And I'll tell you some other recipes I've made in this, and I will have some uh, uploaded videos in the near future. So, what I'm going, how I'm going to cook it, there you'll see many different uh, times on the internet on YouTube. I cook, set my timer for six minutes. I cook them for six minutes. I naturally release for five, and I'll explain what that means in just a second. And then I put them in an ice bath for another five minutes. So again, what you'll need, eggs. I have four, cup of water, your pressure cooker. Also, what usually comes with the pressure cookers is a thing called a trivet, and I love saying trivet. Uh, this is a metal one, has four little feet to bring your eggs or your product or whatever above the uh, water, except I'm a geek. So I got something different. I've got this little honeycomb looking thing and the eggs fit right into the little holes and it works great for putting your eggs in and out of the pressure cooker. So what's the difference between natural release and quick release? So on the top of the pressure cooker, and again, I'm assuming the Instant Pot is the same, and I'll show you a close-up of this, there's a little indicator, mine's a little red button here. When the pressure builds up in the pressure cooker, the little indicator will pop up. That tells you there's pressure in here, the water is boiled, there's made steam, it's not going anywhere, not going to explode. And when, the, when it pops up, there's no way you're going to be able to get this top off. All right? Quick release is this valve here. And it will be labeled seal or vent. Make sure when you put your product in here, your food in here, you put it on seal so the, the steam doesn't come right out or you'll never cook your eggs. So a natural release is once the cooking time has ended, for us, it'll be six minutes. When six minutes is counted down, you let the pressure cooker sit for five more minutes. And then you'll do a quick release. You'll go from seal to vent, and then the steam will come out. I've added this little gadget here on mine. If you didn't have this on, when you open, the steam will go straight up. Uh, if you have this under a cabinet, It'll get the bottom of your cabinet all wet. You don't want that to happen. So I've got this little deflector on here that I got on Amazon, and it deflects it off to the side. So you quick release. The indicator button will still be up. When all the pressure's out of the pressure cooker, the indicator will drop down and be flush as it is now. You'll actually sometimes hear it when it drops. So naturally, some recipes will call ask to um, naturally release for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And after that 10 or 15 minutes, the button may still be up. You'll have to quick release to get the button to drop. Now, why would you do a quick release as opposed to a natural release? Well, if you were cooking something like noodles, like macaroni and cheese, which I've done, if you do a, you would want to do a quick release here for when your cooking time is over for your noodles. 
because if you let them sit in there uh, any longer without quick releasing, it'll overcook your noodles. Unlike with a beef stew, where you would do a natural release and let your beef stew or something else with a, a meat in it to tenderize the meat, so you'd naturally release, let that uh, pressure go down by itself. So that's the difference between quick release and natural release. So with the eggs, we'll let it go for, like I said, I'm gonna cook for six minutes, then I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes, then I'm gonna quick release, I'm gonna take the top off, put the eggs in a ice bath for five more minutes. And every time I've done this, and I've done it a lot, they peel perfect, there's no green rim around the yolk, but I'll show you that in a little bit. One word of caution, keep your hands away from the steam when it's quick releasing. When you take the top off, twist, lift straight up, pull away. Don't be looking in to see your product in there because you'll get a facial of hot steam. And when I take the eggs out, I usually use a set of uh, small uh, tongs uh, with plastic on them. So with that said, here we go. I'm going to take my top off of the Ninja pressure cooker. I'm going to leave this one on. I'm going to put my trivet, trivet, trivet in. Probably should have done the water first, but that's okay. Cup of water right into the bottom. Put your eggs in. Oh, this is hard. And again, doesn't matter how many eggs you do. You can actually stack them in there. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could, and you can put as many in there as you want. So, eggs are in. Put your top on. Pressure cooker top. Make sure that your vent is in the seal or closed position. Turn, turn your pressure cooker on. Hit the pressure button. Set your timer, there's arrows up and down. Again, I'm assuming the, nin uh, the Instant Pot is the same. Set your time for six minutes, and then hit the Start button, and let's hope it all goes well. <laughs> Good, I'm just kidding, it's fine. So now you'll see that there's little ants spinning around. This is again the ninja, the ants are marching around. That's telling me that inside the water's heating up, it started, it will boil and cause steam. I'll keep an eye on it. When it reaches pressure inside, you'll see that the number six will come on here. Whatever time you have for cooking will come on here and it'll start to count down. After it counts down, an audible will go off, so it will tell you that it, it is finished. With the Ninja, after that's done, it'll start counting up. So we're going to let it count down, and then we're going to let it count up five minutes for natural release. After that five minutes, we're going to quick release, take the top off, take the eggs out, and then I'll show you how they look and how they peel. So I'll be back. It's going to take about probably three or four minutes to heat up, but I'll be back when it starts to count down. So it started counting down about a minute ago or so. It's at five minutes now. And as you can see, the little red indicator, pressure indicator is now in the up position, indicating that there is pressure in the pressure cooker. There's no way you're gonna get this top off now. And there's no steam coming out of the vent, which is good. So now we just wait for another four minutes and 36, 35, sec, 34 seconds. Okay, so now we're down to 10 seconds. I'll let it count down and you can hear the audible indicating that it's cook time is over. That's it. It ends. And then after a few seconds, it will start counting up. So now we're gonna let that count up to five minutes and then we'll quick release and see how the eggs come out. Now you can see that the indicator is still up so we're natural, naturally releasing. 
So I'll be back in about four and a half minutes. Right now, the five minute mark, I'll turn it off. Then I'll do my quick release. In this case, I pull it towards here. You'll hear it and you'll see the steam coming out. Release it until your indicator button falls. Sometimes you can actually hear it when it drops and then you'll be safe to take the top off. Don't look over into the pot as you take the top off or you'll get a facial of hot steam. Don't want that. And I don't know if you heard it or not, but the pin just dropped. It means we can take the top off. It's open, straight up, back. A little bit of steam comes up. Put your top off, away. And you're gonna take the whole trivet out. I just use my little tongs. Bring the eggs out. I use a little cheap pair of uh, tongs with the rubber ends. Put them in your ice bath. Another five minutes and then we'll peel them to see what's cracking. Yeah, I just had to say that. Okay, I'll see you in five more minutes. Okay, so the eggs have been in the, the ice water for five minutes. Let's see how they peel. Sue, pay attention. Give them a crack and a roll. And they almost peel themselves. Boom, done. I just dunk it in the water to get the excess shells off. Let's try another one. Crack, give it a little roll, and boom. Done. Four eggs. It was three minutes to heat the water up. I did six minutes cook time, five minutes natural release, five minutes in the water. And you'll never have an egg shell stick to the white. It will be that simple. In just a second, we'll cut one open. We'll see how it looks. Pops right out. Let's see, uh, see the inside. We'll cut her right down the middle like this. And it is perfect. There is no green around the yolk at all. The yolk is cooked completely through. Perfect boiled eggs. Let's cut another one open. Yolk is perfect. No green slimy stuff around the yolk at all. I think that's enough. We'll leave the other one, put salt and pepper on, eat later. So that's it. That's how you make boiled eggs in a pressure cooker. Quick and easy. Very easy. Sue, get your pressure cooker out of the box, put it up on the counter, take the top off, put a cup of water in it, put your eggs in it, put your cover back on, set your timer, cook some eggs. Don't be scared of your pressure cooker. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will have more videos on recipes with the pressure cooker. I have a beef stew and some other things. I'll even pop some popcorn in it. Fresh popped popcorn. Awesome. So until next time, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section on how you made out with your pressure cooker, those of you who are scared of it. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be safe out there. I'm 107.